So apparently there was some snow last night. I didn't even notice it. Just very little. Uh, so last night I crossed the border. That's the base of evil over there. Base of evil. And here, there's France. I'm going to England. See if we can cross the dip. Hey, eh? having new shoes makes me gives me blisters on one side. Base of evil. So that's my tent, it's the rest of my equipment. It's always very important to look well after your equipment, you know, to keep it right. So it doesn't wear down that much. You know, this way I can get it easier into there, into the Bergen. And that's the, uh, the base of evil, Switzerland. The war makers. And there's some more there. Yeah. Prefer France. Weather is nice as well. Look there, it's blue. Yeah, it's all great. So today the Swiss Nazi trial was going on like against me by the Swiss Nazi Justice Department with their, with their lies to put immigrants like me in prison. So now it's 11 o'clock, it started at 8 o'clock. So, I, I mean, I can't take that serious, you know, I, I don't recognize this Nazi shit anymore. They're just lying. Should I, like, listen for two days to the lies and then probably just do what they want and put me in prison, you know, based upon nothing? No way. So I just, at least I show them. They'll probably get me afterwards, you know, because I want to see my kids and all. Well, it's another time then, eh? So here I am in France, just over the Swiss border, with my new shoes and my new pants. But I can't say I nicked them, because that's forbidden. And then the Swissies, they would have a, uh, a reason, because they, they, they survey all my videos to find anything which is forbidden, you know. So then they would have a reason to drag me into court again without even having to lie as they did so far all the time. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm here back at the same place here where I was before at the obelisk here. So I don't think I nicked them, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, for 16 years they did everything to uh, stop me from integrating, and I, I couldn't integrate, couldn't work, no money, so I mean, yeah. But I didn't nick them, no I didn't. <laughs> hey Swissies, you gangsters. The base of evil, Switzerland. Basel, Baal, which means the devil. And here's France, nice, like France. That's me. That's a funny thing, I just found this here on the streets here. It's like metal. Well, I don't want to take it. The funny thing is, it's like a hexagram and I found it just next to the obelisk here. And the Sanier Reglif there in Altkirch in France. So 
Come on, just leave it here. I don't know what it is. It's metal. Oh, here too is the V Power, like the uh, one of the Oppies. V's and Churchill doing the, the V for victory. It's the symbol of the Templars, but it should be upside down. But anyway, they know what it is. I mean, this is Shell. We know what Shell is, don't we? So I'm on my way to England here. It's all V power. There's some truck drivers here doing some cooking. <laughs> so this time there's no clandestines, like, nice. So here I am in Calais. I tried to go to England with another passport, it wasn't mine, so they arrested me. The English were so kind, I was so I was very much impressed. They gave me food, they really they tried they did a big effort to be very kind. The French too, but it was really the English really surprised me. I felt like being coming home, you know, but well they didn't let me in. And uh, they brought me back to France, where the French police can pick me up, so I spent the night in the cell here together with an Albanian. So, I don't know what to do. Go back to the Swiss terror. Um, well, I'm glad the French let me out. Uh, I'm tired. So I was there, it's a tunnel probably somewhere. And... Uh, there the uh, the customs. I was together with this Albanian guy in the cell. Oh, so that's where they caught me. I think that's the uh, the tunnel. So I had a free ride in the tunnel with some nice English people, and then work. Instead of that, I find myself together with this Albanian guy, like in the in the prison cell. But the friends were okay. It's you know, but I'm still amazed by the. The friendliness of these English people there was so nice. So this is where it was yesterday. Uh, this is the French border, the French customs, and there's the tunnel coming up. So there's where they kept me with this. I think it was in there. No, I think it was in there. There's already police coming up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hello you guys. So it went all everything went wrong. So and I was really amazed by the friendliness of those English people. It was really my uh, like coming home, you know, after 32 years. It's my uh, it's my civilization like, you know, like South Africa. You know, just having fun there. There's, the food was so nice, you know, and I said, well. I was just joking, you know, and I said, well, I recommend it, you know, I recommend it to all my mates. And they said, uh, <laughs> then they said, well, all, all customers, they're coming back. Well, meaning all the uh, the illegals, you know, trying to get into England. We were laughing our heads off, you know. And it's so typical British, you know, having problems and just laughing, you know. I felt like, you know, like being there, you know, being home. You know, first time like in 32 years, you know, really feeling like, you know, that's why I should be England, you know. So I am chilling out with a bottle of uh, cider. The last one I took this summer, the last French cider on a Corsican beach. That was far more better, you know, and there's the tunnel. I didn't make it. So... I ended up with all the other immigrants, a lot of Muslims sharing a cell together with a Muslim, but they were okay, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. So this is what left of the uh, the identity of Mr. Fox, which I which I took. They didn't take this. Well, they asked me, did you have any other, like, identity cards? I, I, I shook this one and I said, take your pick. <laughs> take your pick, eh? So, well, I, I guess I just send it back or give it to a consulate, you know, so they sort it out. It's not mine, you know, so I can't use it anymore. 
Yeah, so that was the tunnel. That is the tunnel going to, um, what is it, going to Dover from Calais. I'll probably never cross the dip. So I'll probably end up here with all the other Muslims, you know, squatting outside and yeah. I suppose finishing bottles like this, like I just did well, almost half, one and a half litre to chill out, well, I suppose that's not a good reference for being a Muslim, I suppose, so well, I'll just come go and say hello to the guys, make, make a short documentary on the, all you guys squatting here trying to get into England, all the immigrants. The wet, here are, so these, these are the European wetbacks, you know, but it's a bit larger than the, uh, the Rio Grande, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's funny, it looks a bit like the sabers Saddam Hussein he did in, uh, in Baghdad. You know, look at that. <laughs> uh, well, probably all the Muslims passing by here like it, all the immigrants. Yeah, that's the tunnel again. It says, Grande Bretagne, Great Britain, Piage, Toll. Uh, I didn't make it yesterday, but at least I'm outside. So, um, I'm going to have a look at the other wetbacks here. Well, one of them. <laughs> I just found another wet back here. Didn't make it through the tunnel. Uh, <clears throat> I got the tunnel. There's a couple of wetbacks living here, trying to find a way to go to England. Behind the trees there as well. So, uh, so that's really wet here, it's sort of a swamp here. And there's the boat to England on this side and the tunnel. And, but it's really for wetbacks. I made it over here, can you imagine? Me 110 kilos and <laughs> a backpack 30 kilos maybe. Well, so I have a look there where the wet backs are. Oh dear. Now, there's some of them. There must be million, um, thousands here. Look at the water mass. It's, uh, smelling. Somebody here? Mm. Really smelling. Y'a quelqu'un, ça va? You guys are right? I'm out of a swamp. Oh shit, crossing the dip with all my shit, you know? Mmm, I don't like that. Oh fucking hell. I hope it holds my weight. You know. Very slowly. Don't crack a smile. Yeah, okay. Oh. Don't want to be wet with this weather here. Yeah? Middle of the motorway is here. Yeah? Where the middle of the motorway here is going all directions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just finished one and a half litre of cider. Who cares, eh? There's the tunnel. Didn't make it. Yeah. There it is, too bad.
Now we can learn from A. Uh, Mr. Fox didn't get into England. Oh, yeah. Everywhere there's sleeping bags, everywhere there's dust bags and tents and garbage. Yeah. All the wet bags going to England. Some more wet bags trying to make it in, into England, never made it, never will. Here in Calais, going to Dover. There's a toothbrush. Where is it? Yeah. Old pile of rubbish. In the middle of the motorway here. Even says in English. So last night I ended up in the cell as well. Well, thank God because I speak good French, you know, they let me go and they only keep you for 16 hours. And they said even before it was illegal, it was a crime to use somebody else's papers or documents. And now they say it, it, today it's not a, a crime anymore. You know, everything's getting depenalized. So thank God for that. Eh? Uh. Rio Grande! <laughs> so from there they're probably gonna have some scuff every day to go to the supermarket. Like here where there's a commercial center. There. Oh, well. Well, let's follow the track then, eh? Oh, this track is leading to some more. Oh, look, there they are. A lot of you know, immigrants, look. <laughs> Wet bags. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so these guys are from Darfur. I gave them some meat here from Switzerland, some bread. You know, the Swiss airplanes, they're killing people in Darfur. And now these poor people are living here in tents, you know. Look at it. Just like me, wet backs. Okay, man. Well. So he's from Darfur. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> good, Africa, good. It's very sad. All these people from Darfur, there's a, a genocide going on. And, you know, now they're here in France. So this is me, my backpack, I shared my last food with them. You know. I give you my card, you know? Uh, fuck, what's wrong? Hmm. What's wrong? The fuck? What is wrong? I don't know. No batteries, maybe. Oh, what? Oh, wait a minute. I'm. I'm unlocked. Yeah, it's still. <sighs> I'm filming all the secret symbols of the Freemasons. You know, the Illuminati and all this. I have a theory that the pharaohs are still ruling. You can see that on my film. Okay, see you guys. Okay, yeah, see you. Okay, see you. <laughs> yeah, okay, see you. Bye. See you. <laughs> so here in Calais, it's called, the people are called Sti. They're not really like the French. They uh, speak like a Dutch dialect here. So maybe you can speak some Afrikaans with them, you know. Like the Boer language. The houses are like, apparently like in the low countries or like in Belgium. You know. So... I wonder what that is.
go and have a look. Ah, is this? I mean, Calais is just on the other side of the dip. Where all the British aristocracy is. This is Isis. Or Babylon. Now, there's a lot more to see. It's probably Seth. Seton from Egypt. Satan. And, uh, Wow, look at that. What's that? The mayor's office it is. Look at that. Let's have a closer look then, eh? This place is full of it. But the people are quite okay here. And they keep them poor here in the north of France. Looks a bit like the Big Ben, doesn't it? I like this tower in Mecca. So I don't see everything now, so I'll, I'll just go down like this. I see it all. There's an obelisk there. Oh, it's full of it, eh? And that too is an obelisk. Chimneys. Have a look. In Calais, where the mayor's office is, apparently. Uppies, look at that. Like the advanced passenger information system after 9 11, after this camp. Uppies. Oh, wow, that's full of it, eh? So, a lot of things to see, eh? Lord of the Rings, or is it a crown? Fleur de Lis on it, I think. Mm. Hello, Isis. La Maria, it's also Isis. So a lot of the immigrants actually are walking around here, they're hanging around, you know. Waiting for like uh, finding a finding a French girl, maybe to get married, or until they go back to their tents. I'm sleeping here. There's some buildings here, and the other wet backs, Some of them are just like there behind the bushes. There were the Darfur guys there, so it's very very wet here. Uh, sort of, sort of a marsh, marshes. Uh, yeah. So today I'm going to drop a complaint against Switzerland at the uh, at the district attorney, at the, at the the state's attorney office. The uh, they gave me a uh, a state's lawyer like yesterday, but only for yesterday. And I was still in this detention center. They call it a retention center because I only can keep you for 16 hours 
Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, in Switzerland, you can't drop a complaint, you know, like against Switzerland. So I didn't, you, you know, as a normal person, you don't know what you know all the possibilities are. So, well, this lawyer, this lady, she gave me this good advice. So, okay, Switzerland, fun is coming up. See, it's all wet. Here. It's all it's marshes. Well, marshes starting like. Yeah. So that's why the. The other ones are there, a bit more higher up or away from the marshes. It probably says England again. La Mans, the tunnel. Ah, bye bye England. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some Flash. Afghan guys. Yeah! <laughs> Mujahideen. Yeah. <laughs> Free Afghanistan! Yeah! <laughs> So they're all sleeping here in the park, you know, and everywhere. And a lot of immigrants. In almost every park in the world, or like in Europe, you find an obelisk somewhere with a world domina domination. Almost every park. So I'm going to the police station now to, to the attorney. So again, a pyramid. And there's three for the... Uh, the um, the Holy Ghost and the, this thing, you know, but it's actually Isis, Horus, and Seth. Yeah. So this is the authorities here in in Calais. There's some more clandestines, a lot of Afghans. I'm here inside the police station. It's like the half moon in the uh, floor at least here. It's, uh, <coughs> so I'm going to drop a complaint here. So this guy is from Somalia. Yes, I am from he's Somalia. Dr he's drinking a little beer, which is not, you know, really like for a Muslim. But I think he's doing the good thing. You know, you need, need to be to be a little bit happy. He has been here for two months. Yes, I was been here in two months before I come from Somalia. And you so want to go to England? I, right? I want to go to England. Yeah. If I try, try, try many times, but there are. There's some more. Oh, okay. You're from South Africa? Yeah. Oh, I can see that. Me too. <laughs> so that. Hi. The Nanish. You're from South Africa? So these are my blisters. New shoes. They're really hurting. <laughs> you know, um, well, I'm always used to this in the army. Like, you know, you just pretend you don't feel it. You know, just forget about it. Just go on, you know. Go on and march. Yeah, well, that's what I do. Who, who fucking cares? You know? So, sitting in Calais. You know, they just refused me, like yesterday or the day before, to go into the land of my ancestors. They don't want me to take anybody else, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm here sitting here and in Calais, yeah, with all the other clandestines. So that's the Sun Hieroglyph, sort of a pub. It's, it's quite weird. It's a Nautilus pub, an old English pub, it says. But again, the Sun Hieroglyph. Oh, this thing here, here in uh, Calais. stuff on top of this building as well here. Yeah. I don't see it now, I'll probably see it later. What is this woman supposed to represent with that man's head in her arms? 
What is that? Everywhere, the women got something in their hands. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's bloody raining, everything is wet. Oh, it's clearing up now. I slept behind there somewhere. Here's some nice guys from Sudan, very nice brothers, making some potatoes here. Against the rain, real misery. I met some more people from Afghanistan today. Yeah, yeah good people. Ah, uh, uh, Afghanistan, where? Yeah, they went to the child, eh? Yeah, child. Not child, Young. but uh, small, yeah. How old is he? Maybe 17. Oh shit. Shit. So when was that? When when did the so the the guy said the yeah. police took everything away. What when was that? One, two, three, maybe three like this. Yesterday there was more, no, wasn't it? No, yesterday, maybe after uh, maybe like ten days. Ten, uh, ten. ten days, yeah? Yeah, yeah I think maybe like They just days. stole all your things? Maybe, yeah. And then they arrested twenty one guys? Yeah. Yeah. And then the white man, they are shooting uran depleted uranium, kill yeah. little babies yeah. in Africa who get born without hands, without legs, you know, and they, they, they just come and steal your tent and the last thing you have. I mean, this is sick, man. White men always had been illegal in Africa, so what, you know, why, why do they steal your things for, you know? The last thing you have and they steal it. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that on YouTube, man. This is, Bambino. you know, this is like the world can see, eh? Yeah. yeah. Hi, man. How are you doing? So it's rain stop still. Maybe 16, not 17. Not Bambino. 17. Bambino. Yeah, 17. Yeah. Maybe yeah. in January? Yeah. 17. 17. That's not good, eh? Guys making potatoes. I gave him my last, my last bread. See, police coming again. Ambulance? Yeah. All the time. Da, 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 da. Total control, eh? Ugh. How long have you been here? Have you been here like many years like this? Yeah. One year? No, no. Two months, and two months, yeah. And two and a half. And like one month. One month. Yeah. I talked to some Afghan guys. He was here five years. Five years. Yeah. yeah. Five years here. Yeah. yeah. In Cali. In maybe like. Mm -hmm. Okay. You so you say goodbye. I stop the video. Okay. Uh, okay goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Bye. 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 Okay, world, let's help these guys, eh? Okay. Now, what is this? It's like a grave here, next to the African guys. Here. What is this? What's happening here? There's a blanket of these guys here. Why they dug a grave like this? I hope it's not what I think it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay. There's the tunnel again. Beyond the bridge with the other guys that just filmed. Must be thousands of people here, or ten thousands of people just hiding everywhere. Sleeping, rough. 
under tunnels and uh, it's all human misery. So the thing happening here really, what I saw, is a lot of people in extreme distress. They're cold, they're hungry, they're tired, you know, they get a lot of hate, chased, chased by the police and all that. And then there's the, uh, the Islamic Salvation Army or something like that. I talk to a lot of guys, they sleep there, they eat there, they help them, you know. But I suppose there's a price for it. I mean, this is the, I, 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 I guess this is the base for a lot of, uh, like, future like what, what 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 the newspapers call like like terrorist acts you know but it's all it, it, it's all being moved in this direction as the pharaohs are also in the islamic branch as they rule over europe as they rule over the whole world so they're creating all together these pharaohs and the enemy within they're creating the all of these you know future like terrorists and people having people kill each other and of course they get a lot of hatred you know being harassed by the police and steal all your things and um, I talked with some Af Afghan guys today and they say there's a thing called Salam you know where they well you know, you know if you want to have some food you probably have to pray for it you know maybe not the first or the second time but the, the, the third the third like the fourth time you know certain uh, conditions are being made and it, which is going on, it's going on and on and on and on. And then innocent European soldiers, who are just as innocent as these guys here, you know, they, 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 they're getting the bullets and the explosive parts and the nails and the, you know, which are packed into the explosives. I understand this, you know. These guys think, you know, in Islam there are no, no pharaohs. But I mean, look at Saddam Hussein and, and Mubarak and all these it's the same thing. You just want to put people up against each other, you know, so they can expand their total system, total control system. I understand it. I see it all. I saw it clearly today. I should have filmed. I could have filmed more, you know, but it's really hard. People don't want to be filmed, you know. Oh, man, oh, man. What's going on all this, you know? And people don't understand it, they don't care, you know, they only, they don't care, they only think about their cell phones and the next car they're buying. Oh, man. Uh, and, and because all these people fighting each other, so they can much easily, easy, easier, you know, snatch the oil away and, and snatch the diamonds away and snatch this and that away, you know. Yeah. I'll do some hitchhiking, you know. You know, probably on the every one of these bridges you see here, and there are quite a lot. It's a whole system, you know, that's traffic coming from England. The old guys, Muslim guys, and, and, and these the last ones were from Eritrea, Christian sort of. And the next, I tell you, the next Islamic warriors, they're going to be molded here. They mold them and make them. Just as in the Middle Ages, as people were starving, and after a week starving and, and more. You know, there's... What, what are they doing? They just stopped me, they didn't ask me, like, what are you doing here, you know, like, walking here. So, yeah, so I was telling, actually, that... Just like in the Middle Ages, you know, the... Uh, uh, you know, you, had, you haven't been eating, like, you know, for, like, a week. Uh, some guys pass by and they say, well, we give you a, a loaf of meat, but you have to go into the king's army. It's, it's exactly the same thing going on here. I see it with my own eyes. I mean, the police were nice to me because I'm a whitey, like, you know, but I, I, I suppose these guys, it, it, sometimes, you know, and then there is a difference of, of culture, you know, and they leave a lot of rabbits as well. Of course, they don't like that, which is natural, but, you know, there's a language barrier, they speak a little bit of English, but nobody speaks French and... Uh, I, I see it happening here in front of my own, my own eyes, you know. And then these Rambos, that they don't even know, uh, you know, they, they, they just seen a couple of Hollywood movies too much and they, you know... I think they're going, going to do a good job uh, while, you know, 
you have to go back to the roots and, and, and here they're being created like you know tens of thousands here squatting here all over going trying to get into the tunnel and uh, well, it was a couple of days later I had to talk to this lawyer yesterday and I walked you know so there's the tunnel I'm still here in Calais a lot of homeless people like clandestines wet backs walking around here so and because there's a lot of police control here and you know I I hid here that's my tent you know it's very important you know to have a good night's sleep in the whole morning <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to my tent here and everywhere in the night you see guys with little backpacks Albanians and, and black dudes and from all over Africa sleeping bags parts of tent which they probably get from the like Salvation Army or I don't know what it's, they have no respect you know they just leave her here and this is all over everywhere so you know, more good sleeping bags they just leave it here there's no respect they probably want to go like fancy in town you know not without it and not to be you know to be seen like as a homeless or uh, so um, but you know if you have a dust bag you stick to it you know you don't leave it somewhere and maybe they got caught and deported later on so that the sleeping bag just stays here and I found like I don't know, it's all over so I you know if, if you're a survivor you stick to the things you know you take it with you you know and you hide like this here so I'm gonna wrap it up and take it with me Oh, nobody can see me here. No cops are coming. Well, in France, you know, well, they gave me this paper that I can be for a couple of days in France and they checked it all out. But anyway, you know, if there's a, like a patrol car, they don't know what it's about, you know, so I prefer like do some good hiding, you know. Yeah, save right you. If you're a revolutionary or if you're trained for this, you know, you, uh, it's the way to do it. Better walk. I, I had to walk for hours last night to find this place, really. And, um, yeah. So, okay. So there's the, uh, the tunnel uh, from here. Now there are the windmills, or that's a, that's a tunnel. Probably giving the electricity for the tunnel somewhere, or I don't know what. Yeah, well, it's a lovely place to sleep here. So if I sleep somewhere, I don't leave anything. Not a bit of paper, not even this here. It's a disinfectant, which they gave me in a, for, the, uh, for my blister there, which is all, it's all a bloody mess. And, uh, yeah, I just asked at the pharmacy and they gave it to me. I leave nothing. I mean, this is respect for nature. And uh, I don't see how these clandestines leave such a mess everywhere. You know, bottles and the plastic and... I don't understand. I mean, with all the stuff that leave here, I can see here a tent, a sleeping bag. Trousers, a, what is it, a backpack, another sleeping bag, they're probably just around here, probably 10. I've seen at least like uh, 50 sleeping bags lying around here. You can start a bloody sports shop with all this. For hiking or outdoors, an outdoor sports shop, you know, you wash it and use it again. I mean, this is respect. I mean, this has been made. Probably child labor in China and it just ends up here. 
or in Vietnam, child labor in Vietnam, it just ends up here. It's it's so bad. You know, it's it's so no respect. But anyway, these guys are yeah, well they are in a different situation and uh, probably very tired and can't think of it all anymore, but so little to take it with you. There's my gear and I would definitely not ever leave it somewhere. I mean, this, this is where respect starts, actually. If you're from a place where there's war and no respect and, and you know, and you want, you're not, you don't agree with it, you want to change it, then this is where respect starts, you know? And I can see respect of the clandestines. I, I, I can see the respect shattered all over over the dirt here in the rain and, and waiting to be destroyed and, and to disappear. The whole respect disappears. So, I mean, it's okay. You go to maybe, I, I wouldn't do that, but go to the Salvation Army in certain situation and, and say, oh, well, I'm a poor... I'm, I'm such a poor guy and, and there's a war in my country and they give you nice things, you know, and with which you can survive, even a tent. I didn't have a tent, you know, for years, maybe for 10 years. And, and then, you, and then it, it just ends up here. This is where the respect ends, you know. Maybe they're all dreaming from a nice Mercedes in the, in the, in the rich west and the rest, well, you know. Uh, I mean, anyway, for me, a sleeping bag and a tent is is worth far more much than far more than a uh, than a Mercedes, than a Merc. Far more. I mean, I, I wouldn't like to trade my tent for a Mercedes. I wouldn't even care. If I'm hitchhiking, I sit in a Mercedes anyway, and I've got a driver, my own personal chauffeur. You know, I start raining, guys, so I'll just stop now. I could have slept here on the nice lawn. It's like a, it's like a golf lawn, you know. Only the holes are made by the rabbits, as you can see there, all over. Yeah, but instead of that, I hid and I, I trampled a bit the uh, the high grass, which will survive and be redressed afterwards. And I left the whole clean place, you know. Not like that. No, no respect. Oh, here I'm walking with some guys from Darfur. We're going to the supermarket. I'm going to grab a uh, hello to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to grab a bottle of cider. <laughs> We're going to drink some cider. Hey! <laughs> Everybody is taking this road, like from here, you know, to here. Hey, man! Say hello to you, YouTube. <laughs> We're from Sudan. One go England. Because it's my first dream. Okay. Well it was yeah. it was my dream as well, but they won't let me in, yeah. you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, okay. I wish you good luck man. So they're all walking like around here because at the other side the cops are driving out uh, so they don't see us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there. Ah. So this is the only tunnel vision I get. This is my tunnel vision. You know, there it is. I'm still here. It's a couple of days. Going to try my luck there. Petrol station. They have like uh, every 20 minutes there's a whole load of cars coming. I've never been at a petrol station like that where every 20 minutes a whole load of cars. I tried my luck yesterday, but Nobody wanted to take me, I think. I thought, you know, the Brits leaving their island, you know, they all got afraid, you know, like being on the continent, you know, what's happening, what's this guy there with the long hair and the backpack, you know. Uh, so, there's a wave of cars every 20, 20 minutes, weird. <laughs> 